Now, today's top stories and Power of 5 weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Hi, everybody. Let's take a look at today's top stories. New information on a deadly explosion that killed three people in Garfield Heights last, last month. The Fire and Explosion Investigation Bureau says its team found homemade fireworks in the basement. There were more than 30 cardboard tubes, fuses, equipment, and chemicals associated with the manufacturing of explosives. They are homemade fireworks, but um, these type of devices are actually considered explosives. It happens every year, and it is very dangerous. Part of our work and hypothesis at this point is that, that he was making them and selling them. So the man investigators say was responsible was among those killed in that explosion. The team is waiting on a final report to officially declare this the cause of that explosion. We're less than two weeks away from a primary. Nobody expected. Voters already headed to the polls in May, but some races had to be held uh, back because of trouble with redistricting efforts in Columbus. Despite the potential for confusion, the Cuyahoga County Board of Elections tells News 5 turnout has been predictably low considering it is a primary. Early in-person voting, a little lower than we saw in May, and vote by mail is up. More families in Cuyahoga County will soon have access to affordable and reliable high-speed Internet. Ohio, Ohio Lieutenant Governor John Husted officially joined county officials today to announce nearly $20 million in funding that will provide low or no-cost broadband service to 25,000 households. That service will cost $15 a month. Mark Johnson, busy, busy night. Yeah, a strong to severe storm for your neighborhood through about 10 or 11 p.m. and then the front goes by and we dry it out behind it. Not much cooler. Tomorrow, a little less humid though, still in the 80s. Here's your hour by hour showing the storms moving by. Any storm that becomes severe could have a 70 mile an hour wind gust and maybe some large hail, but we're drying out by dawn tomorrow morning with a low near 71 degrees. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.